Good evening and thanks for joining us. A former Hearn ISD band teacher who is now teaching at Austin ISD is facing multiple felony charges for allegedly engaging in an improper relationship with a student. Donnie Tuggle spent the afternoon reviewing court records and got reaction from Hearn ISD officials. Former Hearn ISD band teacher and current Austin ISD teacher Rodney Childers is facing multiple charges tonight in Travis County related to crimes against children. According to arrest records, a parent accused Childers of engaging in an inappropriate relationship with her son after discovering he took the boy for a haircut without permission and made 57 cash out deposits totaling nearly $2,300 over a six month period. According to court documents, Childers admitted he should have gotten the parents approval and that giving the things to her child violated school policy. However, the parent felt he minimized the seriousness of the accusations. Investigators say Childers exchanged explicit images through text and various apps and also provided the student with electronic vaporizers, some containing marijuana. Austin ISD immediately placed Childers on administrative leave during the investigation and we've since learned that the Texas Education Agency is also looking into the matter. Monday, we reached out to Hearn ISD, Childers former employer, to ask if there were any complaints or allegations against him during his time there and to understand the circumstances of his departure last year. We also asked about any ongoing investigations related to Childers within the district. They didn't fully answer my questions, but provided a statement saying, quote, Mr. Childers resigned from Hearn ISD a year ago. The allegations against him are concerning, but not related to our schools. We hold our employees to high ethical standards and are committed to a safe and trustworthy environment. Our priority remains the well-being of our students and the integrity of our programs, end quote. Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Childers is out on bonds totaling $375,000 and is expected back in court later this week.